so far as we are concerned, we are not in direct touch with the Iranian regime now in order to know, but it's clear that uh, the Iranian regime, uh, now you know these days they are very uh, active. They are lobbying in order to uh, prevent the progresses of uh, Iraqi Kurds you know, uh, in the direction of independence. So uh, they make their voice heard in this direction. And last summer, of course, uh, they were not happy about the perspective of the holding of the uh, Kurdish National Congress in Erdogan. But uh, according to me, they were not, you know, I don't know what, do, what did they say to Iraqi Kurds uh, officials, maybe uh, our representative from Iraqi Kurdistan can comment on that. But uh, uh, I think what is certain that uh, is that Iranian regime last summer did not express uh, uh, its hostility towards the holding of this Congress. But most probably they tried to influence the agenda, the, the content, and the objectives and the purpose of the, the, the this uh, Congress. So unfortunately, it did not take place in order for us to see what could uh, happen then. But it's obvious that uh, they will always try. Even the hostility will not. Uh, uh, they will not <coughs> express their hostility as they did in the mid-90s, for example, because uh, this time has gone, where they, they used to, 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 to make their hostility towards uh, the new developments in Iraqi Kurdistan in a very brutal manner. Uh, it's more in shadow. Uh, they want to pressure Iraqi Kurds. These days, uh, you know, they uh, tried many times to cross the borders in order to put pressure on our uh, friends and brothers in Iraqi Kurdistan. So, this is what I can say concerning what happened last summer. We will continue the reports in this sense. It's about soft hostility.